Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Fallout 1. Uh, we're last left off, we are in the uh, underground bunker and we've become an initiate for the Br Brotherhood of Steel. We were just instructed to scout north, which I believe they just want me to find the um, military base up there. Let me double check though. Uh, I believe it's Brotherhood, become an initiate. Yeah, god the quest log in this game is just the shits. What the hell do you want now? Um, Pick nothing. Okay. Um, we can get more quests around here, I think. I'm fairly sure we can't get power armor yet, although before we beat the game we definitely want hardened power armor, because hardened power armor is highest defense armor in the game. So that's really good. Actually, I want to be on floor two, don't I? No, never mind. Right, 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 because that elevator is not connected to the the other one. And uh, Rhombus, can, can we talk? Do you have anything to say about my current quest? Man questions uh tell me about the surrounding area the hub and the boneyard are south mountains are east and desolate wasteland north whoever goes there never returns okay i was just seeing if he had anything for me yet because i'm fairly sure you do get a quest from him later uh okay let's go we've got way better armor than we did last time we were topside so i'm pretty confident the upgrade from leather armor to brotherhood combat armor is pretty huge. And then the upgrade to power armor is huge on top of that because we get more strength for having it, which is also carry capacity, which is nice because it's a heavy armor. Okay, let's just go get this quest done. Uh, all we need to do is find the military base, which is up here. But the random encounters in this desert are actually really, really dangerous. So... You know, get lucky? We don't have very high uh, outdoorsman skill either. So I believe it's up here. There we go. This is it. This is going to be a tough nut to crack. Yeah, and you can see there are guards out front. Um, no, I want to check the... Yeah, I want to check the Nikon security guard. Thank you. Only 40 health. Yeah, these guys actually don't have much health. They just have really strong-ass uh, weapons. How do you harden the power armor? Uh, I can show you that quest later. It's in the dead south of the map, though. Okay, so we found the area. That's the last zone of the game that we haven't been to yet. Outside of the cathedral, but we know where that is. So we're just gonna go straight back to the Brotherhood because we've scouted the area now, so we can tell them where the base is. So to beat the game, we need to destroy the Master and we also need to destroy that military base there. The inside of the military base is much worse than the outside. It also doesn't matter which order you do between the Master and the, um... Between the Master and the blanking on the name. We got really lucky not running into an encounter there, by the way. Between the Master and the military base. Hello again, Initiate. Uh, things going well? I have some information on the area north of here. What do you got? I saw their base. It's crawling with mutants. Fine. Well, this will get the elders off their butts. We'll fortify the fortress and surprise those damn mutants. You can't play defense on this one, Maxon. So, uh, what is your alternative? I like how he just immediately is like, oh, well, I believe you. There's no way that I know more than you. Um, well, it's obvious something needs to be done. It should be best if we attack the mutants before they attack us. We're going to need the elders on our side for this one. Not a bad plan. Tell you what, let me go try and beat it into the elders. No guarantees, but I'll try. The elders have called a meeting. They wish for you to meet them in the conference room right away. Okay, thanks. I'll just go there. Fucking auto-closing doors. So this is a conference room up here. Why are there two guards at one door and none at the other? So I'll follow its speed run with the greatest uh, comment ever. Basically told the story of Fallout when the main character does nothing but blow up two buildings. Yeah, uh, speed runs of Fallout 1 are pretty amazing. It is liter- Jesus, that's a big truck. It was- it's literally just have really high sneak skill, uh, and a lot of luck and reloading a lot of saves. I think you only ever need to be like level 2 or 3, uh, but you level up on your way. And, uh, just go straight to the base, blow it up. Go straight to the cathedral, blow it up. Just sneak through. It's very luck-based, but you can do it. Alright. 
The meetings will come to order. All elders are present, and we have agreed to hear out the claims of Brother MDB. We shall determine what actions will be taken. Brother MDB, tell us what you have seen to the north. During my explorations, um, I found a military installation being used by mutants. It is heavily guarded and patrolled regularly. And what did the mutants look like? They were large humanoids. Their muscle mass was well beyond that of a regular human could ever gain. They appear, uh, there appear to be several of them guarding the gate and organized troops. What threat do you assume these mutants pose? Just as the Brotherhood has been ge gearing up for battle, the, this mutant army has been preparing for something big. Frankly, the reports has not shown us any proof that they are a threat to us. What proof can you give us that they have hostile intentions? They are gathering an army. A heavily armed army. Well, no shit. It's an army. They certainly aren't just going to parade around. They intend to use it. So, by these actions uh, they are taking, it is feasible that they will eventually come here. It is possible that they are already on their way here. The Brotherhood is the only real opposition they could have. What do you suggest? A preemptive strike at their military base? Yes, I don't want them to know we're coming, though. A small team would stand a better chance of getting into their perimeter without being detected. So be it. You shall have three paladins of my choosing to meet you at the military base, to help you get inside. Elders, thank you for your time. Best of luck to you, Initiate. Alright, so we have... Because we did it this way and we informed them, like, we could just go in on our own. But because we convinced them, 1,500 experience, which leveled us up, and also... Uh, they will be sending some paladins in to help us at the front gate. It's really not a big deal. The front gate isn't that bad, but I appreciate the help because I get the experience as long as we win the fight anyway. It'd be horrible if the army wasn't armed. I know, right? It's pretty redundant. Okay, so we're getting another perk here. You can stack bonus move, which is actually really nice, uh, but there's other stuff we can get here. Uh, let's look at all the new stuff here. Uh, so learner, strong back, uh, smooth talker, ranger, eh. A lot of stuff I'm not that interested in. Mutate. One of your traits is mutated into something else. Eh, no. Flower child, um. You're much less likely to crave chems. Eh, faster healing. Explorer, no. Great chance of finding special places and people. That's just like a for fun thing mostly. I mean, it helps you a little bit, but it's it's mostly for if you want to find all the Easter eggs, because there are a lot of Easter eggs. Sequence, Dodger. Every level is adds 5% to your armor class, in addition to the AC bonus worn from any armor. That's actually really good. It makes you must, much less likely to get hit. So our armor class right now is 26. After perk, it is 31. That is a huge bonus to our ability to dodge moves. So, that's actually a really powerful one. I'm happy with that. And skill points and energy weapons. We pretty much need it to fight these guys. We're at 98 energy weapon skills, so we're actually quite accurate with that now. So we just got a massive boost in AC, and it'll go much higher after we get power armor. Because your AC, that perk stacks with whatever armor you have, so the better armor class armor, the more it stacks on top of that. Uh, can I ask anything that actually gets me anything here? No. Then get out. Okay. Uh, I believe we've opened up a little bit more of what we can do now. We might be considered a full member now. I'm gonna go hit up the Quartermaster and see if we can have some power armor. There are other ways to get it that I'm just blanking on right now. Um, but this will be good. Quartermaster! Um... I send the pickup. Let me see here. Uh, yes, you do have authorization. Ah, ammo. Give me the the five millimeter armor piercing. I have something else to pick up. Uh, yes, you do. Authorization. More armor. More of the five millimeter. Oh, he's just gonna give me fucking ammo over and over. I'm not gonna complain about that. Do I have nothing else to pick up? Nope. Okay. Well, I got a bunch of ammo. I can give that to uh, Tycho. That's why I was picking the 5mm, because I don't need any bullets, I need energy weapon stuff, so I'd rather just get a bunch of free 5mm ammo for Tycho. 
Okay, um, do you need like 130 speech to get the speech victory? No, you just need um, an item. Okay, we're gonna talk to this guy now. So I think there's something from him. Mm, most important people to talk to. I've already talked to all of them, yeah. Tell me about whatever, it doesn't matter. All I needed to know. And I'm not allowed in here right now, am I? I don't remember. Don't think so. Uh, not that it really matters. Alright, we're gonna go talk to Rhombus again. And I know there are other quests I can get here, but I'm not remembering where. Questions, can I ask about, uh... I am Rhombus. Yeah, we've talked to him about all this stuff. Stuff. I could teach you how to... It takes too long. I spend my time in... Okay. Uh, we're gonna go talk to Vri one more time, just to see if I can get what I want from her yet. She's floor three, I want to say. Because to get a speech victory, we need to get an item from her. Um, but that's not till the cathedral that we actually need it, so it's not a big deal if we can't get it right now. Uh, that's Sophia. I need Vri. What there she is. Thanks for following, uh, Cells? Els. Well, no flock, hope you enjoyed the stream. Um, nope. What's causing all the mutations? This might lead to it. Between the nuclear and biogenic weapons used in the war, it's surprising we don't have more mutations. However, if we can hold out, everything will be okay. Why do you say that? All the mutants I've studied have been sterile. They can't breed with another creature. If we could clean up the mutation sources, we should be able to simply outlive the mutants. Interesting theory. Any proof? Here, take this holodisc. It's got copies of my autopsies on mutant corpses. It clearly shows that no mutant could possibly reproduce successfully. There we go. That's the item that you need to beat the game if you want to do a speech victory. If you are negative karma, you can't bring this up with her. She doesn't want to talk to you, so you have to pickpocket it from her, but we're positive karma. There we go. Uh, so that's that's that out of the way. Is this right here? We can also use it. There we go. So we got a hundred experience for downloading that to my Pip Boy. Okay, so we can go clean up some quests. Um, we we could go do the the military base now, but it's probably wise to go clean up some other things first. I'm thinking uh, we do a little bit of uh, Boneyard, and let's also save the Brotherhood Initiate. Because uh, with this new armor and everything, and our energy weapon skill as high as it is, it shouldn't be that bad of a problem. What's our endorsement again? Only 17. I can't believe we haven't had more dangerous encounters, considering we have really poor outdoorsman skill. And that's after reading a book on a doorsman and having uh, Tycho teach us. Okay, we're going to the hub. How's everybody's day going? What's everybody been up to today? I'm streaming a little bit earlier than usual. It's still not like super early or anything. I was going to stream much earlier, but then I got busy with other work. All right, who are we fighting? Oh, it's just some guardsmen who don't even want to fight me. All right, we're going to Old Town. Flamer, no. Laser rifle, no. I want my plasma rifle. Here we go. Okay. We're just gonna run right in. One damage he did to me. Was that a 10 millimeter he used? Sounded like it. 10, 10 millimeter with hollow point. That's not gonna do shit to me. 10 millimeter is already really weak, and hollow point is bad against armor. I was talking about Shadowrun Tabletop on Discord. That sounds fun. Shadowrun's a cool um, series, I guess you would say. Okay, headshot with the plasma. And I melted a man. I'm gonna stay in the doorway. I'm not letting my dudes in. They're gonna fuck it up for me. Oh, for fuck's sake, he crit me in the groin? No, he just crit me and blew me off my feet. Bypassed my armor. Fuck's sake. 
Are you kidding me with this group of enemies? And, and fucking Katcha, her first time with a gun, she misses and shoots me on the ground. Are you fucking kidding me? We're trying that again. Jesus. You were hit for no damage. Fucking killing the shotgun, motherfucker. Missed. Of course I did. What is my luck with fighting people in this room? I swear to God, I never have a hard time with it. He crit me again. 34 damage. Are you kidding me? What is this guy's crit chance? He's the only dangerous guy in here. What is this? I swear to God, I never have a hard time with this room. <laughs> I like how they're all shooting him in the back by by mistake. Hit him in the head, crit him, 60 damage, he's still not dead. All right, well fuck it, I'm walking out of the way then so they can't hit me again. So I can get a chance to heal. Nah, he's stimpacked. Hello, man. Uh, are you gonna play Hearts of Iron 4 again? Uh, I'm watching your Romania challenge on YouTube, waiting for a new video. Uh, yeah, I, if you watch uh, my vlogs, my my Monday vlogs, I, I always let people know uh, what my upload schedule for the week is. I've also got on my Discord, linked in the description of my stuff. Um, but yeah, I got more Romanian playthrough going up on this weekend, I want to say. Yeah, I think it was this weekend when some more episodes are going up. And I'm sure it's not, like, the last uh, playthrough of that game I'm going to do. Because I play that game all the time. Love that game. <laughs> you didn't see that shit coming. This time he got crit. Yeah, have fun trying to get through my brotherhood armor with your brass knuckles, jackass. Alright, I'm going to melt him. There we go. Beautiful. Oh god, it's just a mess of people running around into melee range when they don't need to be in melee range. The AI in this game is just terrible. I love Fallout 1. Alright, melted another one. There's Ian killing the shotgun fucker. It's so confusing that so many of the gangsters look like Ian. Melted three dudes. There! We finally took care of that goddamned room. Holy shit. Thank you for the pile of stim packs. Oh, come on. Carry capacity? They're stim packs. Alright. Tycho, carry some stuff for me. I don't need this SMG on me anymore. Uh. What else do I not need? I don't need to carry two missiles. Give me your ammo. That's light. Ammo is light and sells well. Come on, carry capacity? Are you kidding me? It's ammo. <laughs> Gonna watch this game videos then? I hope you, uh, you enjoy it. I love Fallout 1. All right, you know what? There's a shop right here. Let's go sell some shit. Was it this place? No. There's one here, and then there's one at the end. You talk to me. Barter. Yes, but King Breast Knuckles crit and ignore all armor. Yeah. Any, any gun can crit and ignore armor. It's one of the properties of a crit, is it can ignore armor. And it's always kind of rough when that happens. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm never gonna actually use these grenades. I have, like, no throwing skill. And I don't... Do I need plastics anymore? I don't think so. Plastic explosives, that is. Okay, uh, I can sell the heavier stuff first. I don't need that many bottles. I actually only want one. And it's just for a tiny bit of karma, I think. Um, don't need this much ammo. Uh, that's six worth. Give them three. I'm probably not going to end up using that gun again, actually. Never going to use 10mm ammo again, either. 
Okay. How much money do you have to give me? Eh. Okay. Don't need combat armor. Tutus. Ah, for fuck's sake. I forgot you can't do more than... You can't do more than 999 at a time. Alright, just... Give me all your money. And is there anything else I want from you to equal this out? Stim packs? You do have stim packs. Okay. Uh, we'll take back a grenade. We'll take back the, these grenades. Okay, and then I'll give you just one grenade, and you'll get more value out of this than me, but I it's not that big a deal. There we go. It's it's barely even. There we go. Okay, back to the looting. And then we'll go save the initiate from the back room. I think we need to pick the lock in the back room, which is amazing if you jam the lock and then he's stuck in there forever. Thankfully, we've got pretty good lockpick skill. Alright, let me in there. There's a body, and he's got that combat shotgun, which is pretty solid weapon. I'm gonna give it to- <sighs> carry capacity, are you fucking kidding me? God. Tycho! Tycho, stand still. Tycho, stand still. Thank you. <laughs> oh man, can't wait for the second game when you can just talk to them to uh, trade stuff. Alright, Tycho, stand still. Tycho. Thank you. Gotta give him the ammo. I'm not sure I even have a point of having money at this point in the game. Like, we're pretty much at the limit of what I can do with money. I don't think there's anything else I can buy to really upgrade. Yeah, it's locked, I figured. Not able to pick the lock. Okay, let's uh, use our lock pick set on it to get the boost. There we go. Best weapon. Yeah, I did. Thank you, stranger. I don't know how many weeks, um, how many weeks, perhaps months, these thugs have had me. I'm very grateful for your help, and I'm sure the Brotherhood of Steel is also. Brotherhood of Steel? What's that? I'm only a member. Have you heard of us? I'm really surprised. Oh, you must not leave the hub very often. You should get out more. We're northwest of here. They really should have had dialogue in here for, uh, you know, considering I'm a member. Are you going to be okay? I'll be fine now, thanks. I have some friends here that I can stay with for a while while I regain my strength. I'll try to send my word to the Brother of Seal, let them know that I'm safe now. Thanks to you. Bye. Sweet. All right, we saved him. And I believe we can get a reward for that back at the Brotherhood of Steel at some point. Alright, so that's another little quest done. Um, we could do the Missing Caravan one. I'm just trying to remember where you literally need to walk to to do the Missing Caravan thing. We could also do the um, Deathclaw thing. I could shoot Decker dead right now. I'm fairly sure the police wouldn't care because it's Decker and fuck Decker. Um, I mean, we'd have to shoot Kane first, who's the, the front door guy. I think his name was Kane. Something like that. We'll do that later, though. I think we actually want to go hit up Boneyard. Alright, we're kind of at that point of the game where we're mostly just cleaning up stuff before we could do the real end game stuff. Love how this looks like a uh, sanitarium. That, that was a really good old point-click adventure, wasn't it? That was back when, like, point-click adventures had some really dark games. Wasn't that a cool era of games? Uh, this was around the same time. This was 1997. I want to say sanitarium was, like, 98, 99. You know, ar around the era of, like, um, I have no mouth and I must scream and whatnot. That was a really good one. I don't remember Sanitarium that well because it was a very long time ago that I played it, but um, it had some dark shit, like some really good dark shit. Watch out for Deathclaws. Yeah, I know. 
Uh, I'm gonna give a crack at fighting the Death Claws. I'm pretty sure I've got the right gear for it. I have plasma weapons. That's about as good as you're gonna get on this. Flamer. Yeah, I don't need that. You know, the Flamer's probably weighing me down a lot. That's a heavy weapon. Um, drop a save. Very similar graphics. Yeah, it had a very harsh style to it. I liked it. Um, is there one that wanders outside up here? Kind of. Uh, I'd probably end up aggroing both of them. Uh, I just remember the the village of, like, children with deformities, and each one talks about, like, their mother and is, like, in the church, I want to say. And then, like, the whole time that is building the anticipation of what the fuck is behind these kids. I love that. I was, like, real creepy vibe to it. I'm not gonna spoil what is in there when you go in there. The whole game was kind of like that, but that's the thing that really stuck with me, was that specifically, the village of, like, the deformed kids. Yeah, that that game was pretty fucked up. I liked it. Um, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream was very much that same vibe of, like, just a really fucked up point-and-click adventure game. I remember that one being a lot more rough around the edges. It was pretty glitchy, and uh, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream was pretty glitchy. It was insanely hard to get the good ending, I guess you'd call it. Um, honestly, that game probably shouldn't have had a good ending, and I remember it apparently it wasn't even the original intention to have a good ending of that game. All right, I'm going to try and cripple a leg early, just because I got a good shot at it. Ever played Franboat? No, but I've watched the first, like, three or so hours. Um, that game... I kind of lost interest in watching it after a while because it felt like it forgot what the fuck it was trying to be at the start at a certain point. Well, good job, Ketcha, shooting Ian in the back. Um, Franbo was, uh, from what I saw of it, I, I wouldn't call it like a return to form of the old creepy ones. Thanks, Ian, for shooting my dog. I wouldn't call it like a return to form of those old creepy ones or anything. I, I wouldn't compare it to that. But I, I will say, it on its own seems to be quite a good game. Alright, I got a really solid chance of an eye shot. Uh, here we go. Oh my god. Deathclaw was critically hit in the eyes for 148 points. The result is massive damage to Deathclaw's eyes. How much does it have left? Only 18 health left. I think my dudes can finish it. And it'll cut me up a little, but it's barely hurting me. 2 damage and then 7 damage. Let out. We finished it off. 1,000 experience for killing the Death Claw. Don't get anything uh, off the body. Nice. Alright, let's try and get a good angle on the next one then. He's wandering outside a little. There's the stairs down there, which are dangerous. I can't get him here? I need an angle on him. Normally don't play point clicks, but fully play through fr Franbo. That's cool. Let's get him in the leg. Again, we can get a solid leg shot. If I cripple a leg, the Death Claw is actually way less dangerous. Because um, it has real issues with using up a lot of AP to walk. And so if you've crippled its leg, um, it'll be dead before it gets to you. And it's very easy to outrun. Uh, didn't cripple it, but we did 40 damage to like. Okay, that's still a good amount of damage. What the fuck are you doing, you idiots? Okay, good thing he aggroed on me and not that well. It, it, okay, it knocked me down, but I got up. Okay, critical hit for 22, which hurts a lot. But if I didn't get up, then I would use up AP getting up on my turn, and I wouldn't be able to hit him. I missed with a 91 again. Are you fucking, mm. Okay, back off as much as I can just so he wastes AP trying to come to me so he slashes me less. Dark Seed was good. Dark Seed 2 is fucking hilarious. It's terrible. Dark Seed 2 is a terrible game, but it's really funny bad. I feel fucking sorry for Mike Dawson. Okay, fun funny story. So, uh Dark Seed and Dark Seed 2 were um were really dark point and click adventure games. Dark Seed 1 was made by Mike Dawson, who is a game design teacher at like some big university at the States. And he made the game, 
uh, and he, he made the protagonist of the game himself, Mike Dawson. And it's really dark and it's really cool. And he, H.R. Geiger, that like really famous uh, horror um, artist who did like all the visuals for Alien. Um, he was commissioned to do most of the artwork for the game. So it's like really dark shit. And it was a really cool game. And then the rights for the game got passed on to another studio who made Dark Seed 2. But the protagonist was still Mike Dawson. And they made him the biggest, like, fucking... How do I even describe him? He's the biggest dink in the world. Like, the whiniest, douchiest, like... Biggest loser in the fucking world. Because they're like, oh, it's this character, Mike Dawson. We can make him whatever we want. So they make him just a complete dink. But there's a real life guy called Mike Dawson who made the first game and it's modeled after him and they get a real life guy who looks like a dorky version of Mike Dawson. So the legacy of Mike Dawson is Dark Seed 2, a game he didn't make that was made with his likeness, making him look like a complete loser. <laughs> Uh, and then Dark Seed 2, they still had the rights to use Geiger stuff, but they didn't commission any stuff from Geiger. So all of the Dark World shit in that game was just, they just took Geiger paintings. <laughs> they just took Geiger paintings that made no sense in the game and then made it so you can walk through them. And it looked really terrible in some of them. Like in some of them, it was really obvious that those paintings were not meant to be in the game. Oh, it's so funny. Oh, it's incredible. All right, shoot him in the eyes. Don't miss again. What did we get? 22 damage, didn't crit him. Keep walking. Okay, we're gonna get mauled something fierce, but if he doesn't crit us, I think we win this fight. God, Dogmeat only crits him for eight. He's, okay, 90 health left. An eye shot that crits will kill him. And eyes have high crit chance. There we go. That fucked him up. 189 damage. Another thousand. Alright, top floor is taken care of. There's some junk on the ground. We're going to go grab that because that will solve us a quest later that we need to get the hardened armor. Carry capacity. Hey, Tycho. Get over here, pack mule. Carry my flamer. I don't want it. There. Drop a save. We're pretty banged up, but we're not going in the basement yet. Eh. Nothing good. Yeah, I don't think there's anything good in this house. Um... Because we destroyed all of the death claws up here, though, I believe that is the requirement to get guns to the blades. Which I haven't picked up that quest yet, but it's nice I've I've done that ahead of time. Let me just double check. Yeah, this place is dangerous. That's the mother death claw, which I need to kill for another quest. She's so strong. Can't rest in this location here because it's dangerous. Let me back upstairs. Gotta walk around away from the stairs to go upstairs. <laughs> okay, rest until healed. Because, again, our time limit at this point of the game is 13 years. We're fine. We can wait as long as we fucking want. I very much want full health before this encounter. We might not be ready yet. Harvester was so bad, it's on. Oh, yeah, Harvester was another one of those games that was like one of those horror ones. Harvester is very Dark Seed 2, where it's a really great idea, horrifically badly executed. But, like, I would argue Harvester is even more funny bad than Dark Seed 2. Dark Seed 2 is only really funny if you know the backstory of the development. Whereas Harvester is just fucking hilariously stupid. Where, like, you know what they're going for, and at every single moment they miss the mark. Holy shit, it's good. It's good, Dad. Alright, so these things are gonna hatch and it's gonna be awful. Fuck, this thing has high AC. I can't even hope to hit this guy. 
Uh, laser rifle. He's got better range. That's still horrible. Was that my sniper? Oh, that's my sniper. Fuck, I- even with my sniper, I can't fucking hit this guy. Well, I'm happy they're reloading now. Pretty banged up, but we're not going into the basement yet. The story of a troubled childhood, Jesus! <laughs> Alright, get the leg. We hit! 12 damage. Ooh, this is gonna be a massacre. We're not winning this one, not without power armor. 13 damage on a regular hit. That's with my crazy armor. Point blank can only get 50% on an eye shot. We gotta get a crit. Fuck it, shoot him in the balls. We're not winning anyway. 20 damage. Useless. Oh. Yeah, we're not in this fight right now. 12 damage, 9 damage, 2 damage. Don't shoot my dog, please. Okay, good, they, they didn't. They crit for 9 damage on one of the gunshots. Oh. Go for the eyes, but we're not hitting. We hit! 180 damage, that was a lucky crit. Okay, there's still a chance of winning this. It's low, though. Did he hit dog meat? Yeah, he totally hit dog meat on the burst fire. How much health does he have, or she? 36? Oh my god, we're actually gonna win the fight. I was not at all expecting to win that fight. 1,500, that's another quest done ahead of time. Is, uh, we took at the nest. Uh, although, I believe we need to actually shoot at the eggs now, which can hatch and have, like, some of them run at us. But they're weak now that we've taken out the mother. They're mostly just a problem because the mother is still alive, but she's not now, so... There we go. 20 experience. And there are the remains of the eggs we can check, which I believe have no loot. Nope. No loot. Alright, we took out the whole nest. We just did, like, two quests ahead of time. That's pretty nice. Having issues with the, uh... Maybe responding to things I can't see. Yeah, I think Twitch chat's being weird today. All right, we've got to put away our gun because we actually want to walk into town and the regulators don't want us walking in with a gun. Um, I don't believe we actually need to be right here right now. Uh, we need to go to... Watch out for death claws. Yet yeah, they're dead. I, I killed all of them. Just to double check, they are all dead in this area. Yes, got it. Okay, uh, what we need to do now is we have some quests we can do in the Boneyard. So we're gonna go do them. It's a little bit hard to navigate this place. Everything's laid out in a really stupid way. Okay, we need to hit up the blades. Here we go. Strong, stout man with a bushy beard. Hey lad, uh, what you might be looking for today. Yeah, so we want to side with the blades, they're the good karma way of doing this. Uh, the regulators have taken over town, we want the blades to take over because they're not douchebags. Um, what can you tell me about the blades? A, go a good group of people is what the blades are. Stuck here between the damn regulators and the death claws ain't meant to be uh, the happiest life for them, but they survive. Thanks for the info. Thanks for following uh, Julian Santa Cruz. Welcome to the flock. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Here we go. Here's the Nuka-Cola guy. This is why I've been holding onto Nuka-Cola the whole game. Ah, uh, yes. What's with the Nuka-Cola? It is the stuff of life. Well, actually, if I don't drink it on an hourly basis, I get a splitting headache. Uh, how much of the stuff do you drink? About five liters a day. 
Is that all? Doesn't seem uh, to help anyone that much. So, raises an eyebrow. What's so good about Nuka-Cola? It's the stuff of light. Oh, thank that again. Uh, can I ask you something? Who's in charge? Razor's the woman you want to talk to. Got it. I believe I can give him a Nuka Cola. Ah, I used it on him. Does that count? Nope. Okay, whatever. Uh, Razor is in the basement. No, I think she's over here. Now, what can I do for you? Are you the leader of the gang? Gang? We're hardly a gang, but I'm the leader here. Uh, if you're not a gang, then what are you? We're just people trying to survive. Ad, 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 aditum. God, that's hard to say. Puts us in this position. They keep us down and they use our friends and families like animals. We don't even have a way to defend ourselves. Um, defend yourselves from who? The regulators. They're the ones... Nope. They're the ones that really run Antium. I'm just gonna say Antium. It's fucking easier and it's Roman, so it's cool. Not Zimmerman. They come here and drag our people back to Antium as slaves. They kill us when we try to fight them off. Sometimes they just come and kill a couple of us uh, to bring... To bring to Zimmerman so they can say we tried to break into town or some other ridiculous story. The sons of bitches even killed Zimmerman's son. Zimmerman's son, why would they want to kill him? Josh lived here with me, and I, I mean us. He knew the truth behind what was going on. The regulators told him uh, if he ever tried to contact his father or return to Antium, they would kill him. They killed him? What did he do? Late one night, he tried to sneak into town to tell his father what was really going on. I was monitoring the regulators' radio transmission that night. They... He got caught. She looks down and shakes her head slowly. Here, it's all on the hollow disc. Why haven't you given this to Josh's father? It's not like any of us can even get that close to Antium. We'd be shot dead if we reached the gates. Why don't I give him the disc? You'd risk your life to help us? Sure, anything to help? I'm not so sure that it would help uh, without the threat of violence. To Sorry, it just sounded like someone's tire exploded outside. Um, the threat of violence to back it up. Uh, what we really need are some weapons from the gun runners. So the gun runners require that you kill those death claws in the way in between them and, you know, them. Which we've already done. Aditum. Is that how it's supposed to be pronounced? I've never got how it's supposed to be pronounced. Aditum. A Aditum. I'm gonna say that then. Um. Well, where are the gun runners? Why don't you just get some, uh, get some weapons from them? They're a little ways east from here, but there's a death claw nest between us and them. We've never even spoken to any of the gun runners. Okay, give me the holodisc, and I'll talk to the gun runners before I approach Zimmerman. All right, she hands me the the disc. We'll download it to her pit boy just in case. Hundred experience for doing that. Ugh, fucking get out of the way, dog meat. All right, so we've already preemptively taken care of that. We're also carrying the junk that we need to upgrade our armor. But we need uh, power armor for that. Does anybody in the chat remember what point in the Brotherhood quests I actually get the power armor? I want to say it's if I'm already a member and I've uh, saved the initiate, they'll upgrade me and I can get it. But I don't remember. All right, he's letting me in. Cool. I think we just need to talk to the the main guy in the main room. Oh, we gotta save again because there's a chance that dog meat will run through the fucking moat and kill himself. Okay. Uh. Let's see. We have drink. No. What the hell are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> Better make up your mind fast. Oh, who do I talk to? Probably the outside guy. Unless there's someone else in here I talk to. We'll just click on everybody. Gabriel's the boss. Zach sells. Here we go. 
Not often we get visitors. Why is it you don't get many visitors? This place isn't very accessible with the nest of those damn death claws right inside our factory. I killed all the death claws, even all the damn eggs. You what? You killed them off? Thank the gods. You guys couldn't do that? You're the gun runners. Um, now we can move to where we can get our own material and not have to rely on those damn snakes and uh, add add item. Uh, you name it, and you've got it, my friend. Uh, I have some friends who could really use some of your weapons. 100 experience, or 1,000 experience. You got it. Let your friends know that they've got their weapons. Easy. Now we just leave this place before our allies wander into the moat and kill themselves. Because they're a bunch of fucking idiots. Where are they going? Watch out for a death class every fucking dime. Alright. We can go let them know that they, uh, they're they going to get their weapons and we can go talk to Zimmerman. Alright, so this will make it so that the blades, when the blades arrive to take the town, they'll have way better equipment. Before I have the blades take the town, I want to do another quest, though, that requires I have power armor. Because, uh... There's a chance the guy will die in the firefight, and I don't want to risk that. So, did anyone in the chat go look up at what point the quest... For fuck's sake, get out of the doorway! There's two people in the doorway, I just need to wait for. Did anyone check on the wiki to see, uh... What point in the quest I can get the power armor? What point in Brotherhood of Steel quest stuff? Um, thank you all for your help. Uh, we're going to invade Antium. Um, I'd like to talk to Zimmerman first. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I didn't need to tell him them. I was just making sure. Ah, fuck. Which way is the way out of town? This one, I think. So watching the series on YouTube, I don't know what's going on, so I'm going to lurk uh, to get the average viewer count up. I appreciate that, considering we're trying to get that partnership. Alright, uh, I will just start going back to the Brotherhood. And just see who I can talk to about the Initiate. See if that does it. Because I can never remember. I bet you every fucking year when I play this, I make this exact same mistake of not remembering this shit. Uh, let's just use my sniper. Missed with a 95. Talos gives it to you after you rescue the initiate according to the wiki. Thank you. That's kind of what I figured. Would you get up, Tycho? I'm leaving without you. <laughs> you can just lay there then. God fucking. <laughs> oh, God damn it, these again. At least they're really good experience considering how easy they are. You got hit for zero damage, but you were poisoned. You got zero damage, but you were poisoned. This is the poison to damage to damage you. I think in this game, the poison actually is based on your armor, which is hilarious. There's a lot of weird little things like that in Fallout 1, most of which get fixed by Fallout 2. Oh, right, yeah, he's telling me to put my weapon away. Forgot about that. All right, let's go talk to Talos, because we saved that initiate. Brother MDB, I received word from Brother uh, Jonathan. Thank you for rescuing him. You're welcome. For a ward, uh, I'll give you one of the following. Rocket launcher, laser pistol. God, laser pistol is a very weak thing compared to these others. Super sledge, good if you're melee. And power armor. Absolutely power armor. You have the authorization right now. Go pick it up from Michael. You mean Brother Michael? 
1,500 experience. Easy. Uh, I sent the pickup. Let's see here. Authorization. Powered armor. Thank you. This is a steep upgrade. Best armor in the game, and we're going to upgrade it. Look at that. Powered armor weighs 85 pounds. <laughs> so how much of an upgrade is this? Armor class going from 31 to 36, which is amazing. Uh, it does not protect us against normal by any more than the previous one. Uh, we're almost immune to lasers. Better against fire. Worse against plasma. That's interesting. And worse against, uh, or slightly better against explosion. Okay. Uh, the main thing, though, is I believe it actually gets our strength up by a point. By a few points. We're up at nine strength now. And it also brings your endurance up. So it's really, really, really fucking nice to have power armor. Or powered armor, as it was called in this one. Alright, let's go upgrade our armor. In Fallout 2, if you know exactly where to go, you can actually get some power armor shockingly early in the game. I'm not going to do that when I play Fallout 2 because it's a little cheap, but you can get power armor real early in the game if you know where to go and you're a, and you're a little bit careful about traveling. Raises strength because who knew an exosuit could support itself? Fair. 84 pounds seems really uh, light for that armor. I know, right? That armor looks heavier than me. All right, that's the hub. I, I want to be in here. Oh, apparently. Oh, now they're aggressive. I was going to say, are they scared of my armor? Because I would be. An eye shot. Oh, missed. I was going to say, it didn't kill it. For fuck's sake. How many misses have I gotten with that high of chance to hit? I'm really getting XCOM today. Uh, whoops, that was actually a misclick. Whatever. Still killed it. The nice thing about fighting these uh, red scorpions all the time is just they give so much experience for how easy they are to kill. Leveled up. Nice. Red scorpion is critically hit for one point. I think that was dog meat probably. Dog meat hits a lot, but it doesn't do much damage. Okay, energy weapons up. I'll put that at like 10. And just in case, I'm going to dump a bunch into speech again. I don't think I need any more, but I'm playing it safe. Alright, let's go uh, harden the power armor, which will, I believe, make it better in every single way from the old Brotherhood armor. Okay, I want to be an Adidam. Oh, wait, I'm carrying my weapon out. I gotta put that away. Yep. So, this guy. Uh, he gives me a quest, and then I go talk to Smitty, I believe his name is, and he can upgrade the armor. So, this guy wants the junk that I've got by the uh, people there. I don't believe you met. I'm Miles. What can I do for you? That smog makes you look like you're a scientist. What are you studying? I'm a chemist, mostly. I make a primer and powder so that we can reuse the brass casings from bullets. But I also dabble in some chemicals. Um, where do you get the sulfur, potassium nitrate, and other chemicals? Uh, okay, that doesn't lead anywhere. Uh, what chemicals do you work with? It doesn't lead anywhere, so you make bullets for an uh, aditum. Yes, although Smitty is the one who actually casts the bullets, I just refill the brass casings. But the hub merchants make a profit off you in the town. Yes, well, we have uh, to make a living. Since the, hy the hydroponic farms aren't functioning, we have to buy food from the merchants. And the bullets are the only thing we have to sell. Uh, well, I could try to get parts to fix the hydroponic farms. 
Really? That'd be wonderful. We're just missing a few parts, but I'm sure that if you could scrounge up the right pieces, we could uh, be self-sufficient. Samuel might be able to give you some help. Okay, I'm trying to remember where he is. He's not inside here, no. Samuel is... Fuck, where is Samuel? This guy? I don't believe you've met. I'm MDB. Samuel, there we go. What do you do here? Scavenger. Uh, have you scouted in any other areas? I'm a little light. Um, nobody thinks. I just want to talk to you about the thing that we need to talk about. So your job again. Um, how do you avoid death claw? Ugh, fuck. Job again. Is it dangerous? Uh, scouted areas. I'm gonna say death claws for fuck's sake. Blades. Pretty sorry sight. I just want to get to the line of dialogue where I can complete the quest. Can I just go right back to talking to you? Have you th found the parts yet? Yes, here they are. I didn't even need to talk to Samuel. Okay. Uh, looks over the parts. Those are them, but it looks like Smitty is going to have to do a little work on them. Can you take them over to him? Uh, sure. I'll be back once he's fixed them. Smitty is underground, I want to say, in here. Nope, this is just the hydroponics, which do, don't look anything like hydroponics. Uh, nope, uh, Smitty is in here. I may have been surface, um... Getting to know the people of Antium. Uh, this is Chuck. See around Chuck. Is he in this building? Uh, you should not be able to fit, fit in that hole with the power armor on. Yeah. A regulator. Yeah, that's not the place. Anybody in the chat remember where Smitty is? So I don't end up running everywhere. I probably do this every single time. Zimmerman's in this building, I believe. Not that room. Are you going to play the second game too? Yep. I do every year. I replay Fallout 1 and Fallout 2. Millage Man, that's Zimmerman. Uh, I can't go underground there. They'll probably shoot me. I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed down there. This building? Actually, let's try in here first. Nope. Let's try in here. Are you Smitty? Large muscular man. May I ask your name? Smitty! Found him! Uh, I need you to fix these parts uh, for me so I can fix your hydroponics. Yes, I can fix this. Give me some time. Are you going to replay all of the Fallout series? Maybe someday. Uh, here you are. Hands me the fixed parts. Thank you. Uh, I already fixed the parts here. I believe after I give these to Miles, I can come back to Smitty, and he's the one who upgrades my armor. I don't remember if I can wear it or if I need it in my inventory for him to recognize that it's there. We'll save before, just in case. I believe he can also upgrade a weapon, but I don't remember if he can upgrade both. I guess we'll see. The armor is more important to me than the weapon. It takes uh, the fixed parts from you. It looks like Smitty did a great job on these. Thanks for the help, and here's some stuff for your trouble. Hands you some caps and stim packs. Nice. If you ever back up this way, you might want to look me and Smitty up. Might be able to help you with su adjusting some of your equipment. Smitty can work wonders with certain weapons and help you out with certain armors. Here we go. Didn't get any experience for that, which is really stupid, considering you need to kill Death Claws to do that quest. Thanks for fixing up the farms. If you ever need find yourself with a plasma rifle... Uh, bring it back in here. I know a few few tricks uh, that I can pull with the injectors. So you found yourself a plasma rifle. I've gone right here. Hands it over. It takes the rifle, pulls out his tool, starts to tinker with it. That's some quiet power armor, I know, right? That does it. Hands you back your power, your plasma rifle. Try that out for size. Oh, and I also unequipped my armor. Did he upgrade both of them? And that's why? And it just didn't tell me? Powered armor. 
Uh, no, I believe he didn't upgrade it. Yeah, let's uh, load. Take off the armor. I don't know why it was taken off then. Uh, found himself a plasma rifle. Really? Do I need to, like, drop it on the ground first? That might actually be it. How much stronger did you make this out of curiosity? That's pretty nice, but, uh... If I unequip that, so it's in my inventory, and then just drop the plasma rifle on the floor. Uh, found myself a plasma rifle. I'm not holding a plasma rifle. Did I have two? Turbo plasma rifle. Do I have two of these? Okay, that's a laser rifle. Plasma, drop it. Okay, I have two plasma, okay. I was gonna say, did I grow one? What happened? Okay. Uh, like I said before, if you get a plasma rifle. Can he not upgrade this power armor? Do I need to be wearing it when I talk to him? I don't think so. Have I gone insane? Is there a different way to do this quest that I've forgotten? Certain armors he's good with, right? Okay. Loads, so I got all my stuff back. Alright, just upgrade the shit. Wait, wait, hold on. Was there another dialogue option in there? No. Well... Whatever. We'll survive. I'm gonna go talk to the other guy again, just in case. Let me check for you. Yeah, go for it. I don't know what the fuck is going on there. I'll be fine. Here we go. Oh, looks so you find yourself some power armor. Heard of a chemical process that can be used to harden it. However, I'm missing some information on uh, the last few clues. Sounds good. I'll go talk to Mr. Stapleton. Okay, I need to do this first. Librarian in the hub. Forgot about that. Okay, never mind. I got it handled. I'm just stupid. Okay, I already know where that lady is. God damn it. Random encounters. What did I randomly encounter? Rough terrain. Who cares? Come on. Yeah, raiders. You, this is the group that you chose to fuck with? Oh, cool. My, uh, this thing takes less AP now. This one's a raider? Okay. One hundred and eleven damage, raiders. You really want to fight me? I am not bothering to check these bodies. Might end up buying some more ammo for that, though. All right, uh, entrance. Oh, right, it's actually downtown area. I'm an idiot. Forgot those areas weren't connected. Fucking, I got this band-aid on my face. Sorry, I keep pulling at these scissors because uh, I don't know if it's on the screen. This band-aid I'm wearing is fraying. It's bugging the shit out of me. How far in the game is MDB right now? Third stream? I think it's fourth stream. I can't remember. But uh, I'm really far in the game. Like, I could go do the ending. Do you have a set of uh, chemistry journals? 750 bucks? Sounds good. Here's the money. That's well worth it.
Life giving water, nectar of the gods. All right, uh, and back we go. This trip would be much faster if there wasn't a mountain in the way. All right, let's go get this done. Then we'll go talk to Zimmerman. The shootout will happen. Then I think we're done here. All right, uh, here are the books. Takes the books from me, starts flipping through them. Yes, yes. Uh, well, I think I can figure it out, but it'll take a full day for the bonding to occur. Is that acceptable? Not a problem. Hands your armor back. I hope it worked. Why did it unequip my armor talking to Smitty then? Hardened power armor. It's an extra 20 pounds. Look at that. All the resistances are up 10% by the looks of it. Laser is at 90% resistance. That's pretty awesome. Did it de-equip my weapons? Why? Why would it do that? Here we go. Alright, we're gonna go show the holodisc to Zimmerman. I believe that gets him on our side. I just ran through a wall! That was fucking weird. What do you want? Who are you? I'm John Zimmerman, mayor of Han of Adium. Uh, what's it to you? Uh, right, he can give me jobs for the regulators, um, which are like the bad karma way of doing this, but I'm going to say I have something you should listen to about your son. He listens to a holodisc and begins to shake and turn red. You think he might drop dead on the spot uh, from sheer he hate. I'll kill all of you fucking bastards. And he shot him dead. Okay, counts as being in combat. Okay. Aim is blocked. Not for long. Actually, you know what? Not do gonna do an aim shot. I'm just gonna do two unaimed, because now that this thing shoots faster, I have the AP for it. Didn't need to. He's dead. Is this guy against me? I don't think so. I think the inhabitants are on our side. Oh, man. Yeah, I forgot the regulators turn on the citizens. All right. Oh, man. Yeah, this is why I want to do those quests first, because a regulator could just slaughter a quest giver. All right, let's save the town from the regulators. Now, if we had talked to the blades and done it their way, the blades would come in with us and they'd have a bunch of guns. Maybe we should have done that. I don't know. I mean, less townsfolk would probably die. You know what? That's probably a better karma way of doing it. We'll do that. All right, so we're not going to show that to him. I don't think he'll fight us anyway. Let's go tell the blades and join in on the assault. Okay, blades. This way, more civilians will live, because we'll have more backup, and also, uh, more targets. A damn dirty, uh, animal. I always want to say Admiral. I really don't know why. Um, where's the leader of the- where did she go? She's normally in this room. Yeah, member, member. Is she in the back here? No. No. She's just not in the room. Uh, doesn't she... Where the fuck is she? <laughs> uh, in your K669 review, what boom arm do you use? This one. Uh, but th the name of this one, this is like the road crane arm that everybody is- If you look up- I don't remember the name, and I don't believe it says on it. Um, if you look up road crane arm, you'll find it. It's like- the one. Are you kidding me? Is she just not in this place? 
Where the fuck is she? I, I just want to do this the blades way. All right. Is it like it's daytime too? Yeah. Why is there blood on the ground? Is she dead? I bet you she's dead, and I don't know why she would be dead, but that's just this game sometimes. Cesar says I use that arm and it's great. All right, well, fuck it. Uh, I'll just do it this way then, because apparently she's dead, and I have no idea why. Yeah, it's about your son. Here you go. Um, okay. Oh, he didn't die that time. That's cool. John was hit for 250 damage. Oh, okay. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> He just didn't immediately fall down. That was weird. These guys do not stand a chance. Is that her in the main hall? No. I, she she wears, like, the same thing as Katra, but has black hair. I didn't see her anywhere. But there's blood where she would stand. Does it work out of the box with the K669? Yeah. Um... I, I just use it out of the box with that. If you're on a budget, though, like, if you're if you're getting, like, if you're getting that uh, the K669 because you want a cheap microphone, don't get this boom arm. This boom arm's really expensive. Get, uh, it should be, I want to say this box right here. Yep, here it is, my old boom arm. Get this boom arm. Uh, this is the Chinese one that everybody owns. Uh, it is significantly cheaper. I'm sure if you look on eBay or Amazon, you will find this. If you just look up, if you look up, like, a uh, crane arm, like, mic sand, you'll find this. You can tell it's the one because it's got the, uh, black springs on the sides. And the bottom is a much less fancy looking clamp. I used this thing for many years. It's perfectly fine. It's just a little creaky and loud. The only reason I upgraded to this one is because I do this for a living. If you're not doing it for a living, this will be perfectly fine for you. It's just real fucking stiff. But if you're on a budget, just get this. Alright, let me just close that box up again real quick. Give me a second. There we go. And this is what you come to the Let's Play for, folks. Helping people with tech support live. Okay. Hope that was useful. Uh, I hope that person is still there to, to, to hear that. Oh god, that scientist is fighting a guard. Thanks, man. You're welcome. I, I hope that you have fun recording whatever you wanted to record. God, Ian's in the fucking way. Good God. Regulator missed. There's gonna be a lot of stuff going on that I'm not gonna see. There's fights going on all over town. Every regulator is turned on the citizens. Ian ruins everything. Welcome to Fallout 1. Ian ruins everything. Miles was hit for front damage. I really don't want Miles to die. He's cool. Oof. Oh, they're using a sludge hammer on that woman. Oh, that's another one dead. Yeah, the front gate's real dangerous. A lot of dudes up there. Miles is trying to punch someone. Oof. At least Catch is out there trying to do some damage. Ian runs out there with an unloaded pistol and just reloads now. Jesus. All right, let's, uh, there, free movement. Who can we hit from here? No one. Ugh. That is an enemy right there, right? It should be. Yeah, it doesn't have the outline of any of my people. And then that should be Ian right there. Didn't kill him, but 32 damage is decent for a non-crit.
Smitty was critically hit in the leg. Only two damage, though. Some regulator is healing. I was shot for one damage. Yeah, I've got the best armor in the game now. Who died? Oh. Uh, another just person who lives here got shot dead. All right, melted that one. And... Can I get that guy? No. Uh... Oh my god. There. I know that guy's an enemy because I can see him. 39 damage, not bad. Oh man, Miles might die out there. At least we've already done all of his quests. It's not the biggest deal in the world, just sucks. Smitty was hit for a lot of damage. Wow, they're really ganging up on that one guard. God, I can't see shit in this alley. I don't want to accidentally hit one of my people. That's why I'm really deliberately aiming at only people I can see quite clearly. Because I know Ian and Kacha are both in that alley, and I don't want to shoot them. Okay, that one's an enemy. So is that guy, but I can't reach him. Seriously? Here we go. That guy's an enemy. For sure. Okay, melted one did a lot of damage to the other. So many townsfolk are dead. Finished off a regulator, nice. Catcher was shot for a little bit of damage. Don't you wish you got that perk makes your allies green glow, glow green now? Still no, because this is the only time in the game it would be useful. <sighs> Fucking, I want that guy dead. Can I seriously not reach him? They have the whole thing blocked off. Okay, now I can see. Who's that? That's an inhabitant. Who's that? That's a window. No, it's not. A scav, Lorraine. I think she's on our side. And that's Katra. I still can't reach him. Are you kidding me? Just reload then. Regulator just seemed like... Man, they've been ganging up on that guy forever, just punching him. Cool, Katja, you just shot one of those guys, and I got shot in the front, now he's dead. Good job. This battle's a long one. So many individual characters taking their turns. I got the speed of the game turned up pretty high, too. I, I just have it low enough that you can still see what's going on. Katja's totally gonna shoot me in the back. Is this a- that's Lorraine, okay. If I accidentally hit Lorraine, then I guess it sucks to be Lorraine. Nice. How much does he have left? Caleb, yeah, he's like the head guard. He only has 37 left, I might kill him. 30 damage, he's got 7 health left. My guys can finish him. Okay, Lorraine's stim packed, nice. Caleb's got 1 health, Caleb's dead. Good, he's the most dangerous enemy here. Miles Stimpact. Good thing he has those. Lorraine was critted. Come on, melt this guy. Got him. There's almost no regulators left. There's this guy down here. There's this guy, there's two at the front gate who aren't even fighting. I think that might be it, but almost every townsfolk is dead too. I think there might be one in here fighting Smitty, but Smitty might have died. Nice, that regulator is on the floor. Oh, there's that one too.
Nice. And those are regulators. I'm getting them. Missed. Oh, I didn't even see if there's a regulator there. Looks like Ian killed him. Whew. Okay, it was a crit that knocked him down. Not a ton of damage, though. Miles is still alive. And he stimpacked again. Good. Ooh, that one regulator's coming in with a sledgehammer, though. Fight's almost over. Wow! He got crit again! What the hell? How does that happen? One of the townsfolk accidentally punched another one of them. Idiots. Melted him. I like how there's just a massive fist fight over there. Alright, I gotta reload. And just get over there. At least Catch is actually running over there and trying to help. I'm gonna do that. I'll just enough to shoot. Just can't see him, fuck. Gotta keep going. Fucking catch immediately shoots one of her own people. Oh, never mind. It was Lorraine shoot, shot Katcha. They just look the same. There we go. Killed them both. Switch up to the sniper. Oh, I don't have a sniper in the other hand anymore. That might be the last regulator right there. She's only got a knife. Miles is pissed. Wow, he killed her with her hand with his hands. 1375 experience for destroying the whole for killing every regulator. That's not much. All right. The regulators are done. We have no one to report back to though. Cuz I'm fairly sure what's her face is dead. I'm not going to loot all these bodies. Fuck that. Hi Miles. Nice to see you in the middle of some research. <laughs> That's a lot of bodies. This city's never recovering. We did the quest. Let's go underground. I don't even remember what's in there. Let's also check the mayor's body. A little bit of money. I'll take that. Oh, just his home. Backpack. I don't remember if that does anything. It might increase your carry weight. Doctor's bag. Kids of crippled limbs bag. Carry capacity. First of all, read the first aid book that I never use first aid. Never need it. Nothing's in the backpack. That is, that is useless. Please don't let there be nothing in the bag. Nothing in the bag. Thank you for wasting my time, video game. Alright, we're basically ready to beat the game. Oh no, are you- Okay, get out of the way of the ladder, please. I don't want to get stuck. Alright, well, we're done here. What's a regulator? I haven't been paying attention to the game. That's basically the gang that runs this town. They're awful and evil and mean.